Andrew. Ganja. Hello. Yeah. Hey, here we are at Super Intense City. How's it, how's it going, folks? Awesome. Cool. Yeah, finally some nice weather after some of the worst winter camping conditions I have ever seen. True. Hey. Yeah, yeah, experienced or not, the hurricane winds, like, you know, they rattled everybody's setups. A lot of people got wet and got sick and stuff like that. It was, when you, like, the everyday shelter is, like, um, a large part of what you do. I mean, forget taking out the garbage or forget, it's, it's a struggle. Like, it is a lot of work. You know, and with um, absolutely no assistance, um, and and all from uh, you know, except for the, the community and some and some 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 donors and Reverend Al Tarps and stuff like that. Like um, we have now, we have what our community looks like today. Um, and I was gonna put make a banner that said, um, "What would your community's uh, refugee camp look like?" You know, because mm -hmm. uh, would you do as well through the winter, or you know, what would you you know would it, would it be? Would it be structural? Would it would it keep the winds and the rain out? You know, I don't know. It takes yeah. a little bit of practice, and that was yeah. like a not a, not a dress rehearsal. <laughs> no. How many folks do you think are here now? At the well, campaign? um, somebody counted um a, a 105 tents or more, and it's hard to count daily. Hey, Steve, we're doing an interview. Just for a minute or two, would yeah, you mind, please? Yeah. Thank you. Um. So that means that some are storage tents and some are double, most are double occupancy minimum. Right. So it's really hard to count, but this week over, it seems almost overnight, um, with the 55 units of, of um, from uh, travelers, travelers yeah. that burned and that have been displaced. I know that they will open some shelters for them, but I feel like we've absorbed another large proportion similar to our own um, and I think that we must be pushing over 150 for yeah. sure because the conversations that you can hear at any given time especially at night um, we seem to be a lot more than what we were previously for sure yeah you know and with the increased you know uh, everything uh, it just it's, it's almost like you, like uh, molecules in th you know, thermal energy exchange it's like you, yeah. there's more friction there's more everything excitement yeah. and, and everything it's like there's a lot more going on than what the, previously which is cool quick question why do you think so many folks who why do you think so many of the hardcore homeless, people I've seen who I've known for like 20 years, why do you think they're coming here? Why do they feel safer here? Why is that? Because uh, basically we don't take our tents down, we have to deal with, deal with bylaws and cops in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning. You know, you get sick of it. We like, really take our stuff, and, you know, it's in the park. So we have to face more people are coming here because they feel it's safe. And, you know, I take a chance out like a home for yep. everybody. I heard that from a lot of women that they feel safer here. Why? You see, you see, like a true representation of the number of women, which are actually, you know, uh, which is nice because, uh, you know, we're, we're generally t tend to be a little bit more like behind the scenes. But um, the reason why is because we, we can group together, we can talk on a daily basis, we can make sure that we're all safe. You know, um, we we're literally within earshot of our main support, our community, within earshot. If there's something wrong, we can. It doesn't take much to uh, say that, that you know, to, to, like watch this. A lot of people come out. So right away people response. start looking around. It's like downtown east side. Response. I find that in the downtown east side on Hastings, people really watch each other's back, and a message gets out real fast in like seconds. Yeah. So yeah. That's cool. right. No, it, you know, there is immediate response if somebody yells about something. See, yeah. Um, we got to say, and uh, that that feels really good. Um, so we, we have our issues, we have our daily struggles, and we have it is a lot of work still here. However, um, it is much preferable to the alternatives, which is uh, constantly having the entire city's resources pitted against us. Yeah. Which is like, okay, fine. You don't want to help us, then fine. Whatever. We can make do. But when when you have uh, like you know entire police force and and bylaw and everybody that is actually uses their policies and everything like, to to war with us instead of helping us, that's an entirely different thing. The yep. the fact that we managed to withstand that goes to show our tenacity and the fact yep. that well, this is our home. Like I've been I've lived here for 22 years, you know. Uh, Live here forever, pretty yeah, much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like it's not like we're transient, you know. Yep. We're we're definitely not. Yeah, and as I, are I, most people here. Yeah, I, I just want to say I'm Kim Hothead. I'm Kim Hines from the Committee Ten Homelessness. I'm I've been homeless myself, just to say who I am, because yeah, often people forget. And a lot of us do go way back. Um, and I forgot what I was gonna ask. That's my fibromyalgia. But I'm really impressed with what's happening here, and I'm thinking maybe we'll wrap this one up. 
because it's so amazing. Well, is there I something else you want to share? Easter week weekend, I heard a yep. lot of comments from like moms and kids that they like it. They like us, yep. which is really, it's cool because we don't normally get to hear that on a day-to-day -day basis otherwise, right? That's the thing you is know, about the community. People passing by in cars, yeah. but people can come and take a walk through and you know what? They get it. They get the perspective of, even though there's John Capalis and stuff lying around, it's like they still understand that that's because shelter is not, is no small thing. Well, when you have to wreck shelter and, and keep it like from absolute scratch with no money involved at all, practically. I mean, this is a really good example of that because we've done well and we've withstood the worst of the of, of, of winter conditions. Yeah. So, and I think the we're city proud of, of that. And the city of it, yeah, and you should be proud of it, by the way. Thank you folks you. are amazing. Um, the city of Victoria has saved a lot of money. A lot of police have come and said to me that they're really happy about what's happening here because then it gives them time to spend on actual crimes because I guess they were jacking you guys up so uh, much they, every day. Uh, they absolved the, the, the sexual crimes unit completely. And we didn't know why. You know, why that, I mean, and that's a very serious one. We were not sure why, you know, why that wouldn't be a, one of the priorities for sure. Is, they you know, dissolved? Sex crimes against women or, and, and, um, um, they and yeah, they, they, they absolved the entire unit in the Victoria Vic PD. Good to so, know. Um, so we'd I'll like to see that come back for, uh, as, for sure. They used to come bug us all the time, right? So it basically yep. calls from us. Yeah, you want to steal these every time they deal with us, they have to do paperwork and everything, right? So yeah, more exactly. Basically, they can do like when all we're trying to do is just survive, and we yeah. do a really good job of it when, when you know, left really to our fun. own devices. We, 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 we can we can run ourselves yeah. quite well, you know. Everybody, you know, feels safe. Some people don't like large crowds, and maybe they're just sleeping, you know, individually, but that's mm -hmm. their own choice, right? It's not like as if they weren't safe and welcome here. What kind of support, okay, so I get that what you're saying and I totally agree. I also believe that you folks need more support, health issues, different concerns around, stuff around that, like where, how can people help? Do you think we should do more outreach? Like nurses and health come and It'd do more It'd be nice outreach? if they came more often, yes. Yeah. It would be nice if they were allotted more resources to come. Um, it's nice that they do come and they do drop off supplies with quite a, with a few of us, right? right um, we do need a lot of everything, really. Okay. But I mean, we're we're fine either way. What okay. we need is not to be displaced for sure. Right on. Yeah, until they're uh, until the, the, at least we have another site to go to. And do you want to say welcome to everybody to your site that you folks organized? Yeah. yeah. The welcome website. to Tent City Victoria. Right intensity, super yeah. intensity. And welcome to their website. <laughs> Take care. Intensity.ca. Yeah. Thanks. Ciao.